Paige Jen Thoden with YourColorStyle.com and in this video I'm going to share with you my color analysis cards. These are four cards. They are five by seven on a really nice card stock with a satin finish and each card represents one of the main color types of the Your Color Style system. So bright and warm, bright and cool, soft and warm, and soft and cool. Now when you place your order for these you get all four and what's so great about them is you could actually see the, the colors that determine your color type firsthand and hold them up to your face and really get an idea of what color type you are. So let me give you an example of how I've used these so far. Um, I got them and I showed the bright and cool to my daughter and she immediately goes, oh no, I, I never wear those colors. They're just, just too bright. So then I showed her the bright and warm card, same reaction, pretty, but too bright. So you have to listen to the words that you either are telling yourself or the person that you're sharing this with. What are the words that, that, there be, that are being used? In this case, the colors are too bright. So right away we can conclude that she is soft. Now I already know that she is soft and warm, so it's really interesting that she immediately had an aversion to these colors. Now one thing you need to, to know about these colors is that these colors on the bright and cool card are only colors that will look good on a bright and cool person. Okay, someone who has cool undertones and wears clear chroma bright colors. This, these colors really won't look good on anyone else. The bright and warm is the same thing. These are, these are the key colors that will look good on someone that is bright and warm and not so great on anyone else. So someone who can wear bright clear chroma colors and has warm undertones. So right away she feels that the clear chroma colors are too bright for her. So we can start to think that she is soft. So I, I showed her the soft and cool color card next. These are colors that have some gray added to them. They're softer and these are for cool undertones. Now she actually didn't have an aversion to these. She actually said, oh, well, I, I like these. I, I kind of like these pinks and she kind of pointed to the bottom of the card. And then I showed her these and she immediately nods yes. Oh yeah, I love these, these colors. Okay, and these are the soft and warm colors. Warm undertones, but soft, gray added, soft muted colors. So since she chose both of those, knowing now that she's soft, I gave her the ultimatum. Well, you have to pick one. You can't have both. So which one would you choose or eliminate between the two soft cards? She immediately eliminated the cool and chose soft and warm, soft and warm. And on the back of each of these cards, you have the, the label. Um, she is soft and warm. She is uh, soft, warm, and about medium and deep. Just depends, really. But uh, So that was a really fun experiment. And let me just share with you my thinking for me. Now, I know what I am, but nevertheless, I, I pulled up this card first and I know that these colors won't do anything for me. So they're just no, they're too cool. And these, the hot magentas, those are not my thing either. They're, both cards are just really too cool. If someone says those kind of words, you can start to conclude that, um, or that they have warm undertones. So for me, I, I picked up this one next, and I, you know what, I like these colors. Um, I, I might even wear some of these colors. But then when I look at the bright warm, I, that one does so much more for me. So if I have to pick between the two warm colors, it's not that the soft and warm look bad, but the bright and warm just look so much better. So for me, I am bright and warm. Now here's another really fun tip in using these cards. One is the process, process of elimination, which is what I just showed you, because I believe that you will intuitively know what's going to work for you just by looking at the cards and, and eliminating the ones that aren't going to work for you. But another way that you can use these cards is to refer to the cheek and lip color. By holding these colors up to your face and looking in the mirror, you can very easily see which ones are going to work for you. Hold these cards up to your cheek and lips. And the bright and warm card, the top row, especially this, this um, square right here, should be the natural blush in your cheeks. And you can almost imagine this top row of colors 
color in your lips and your cheeks and it should look it should just blend right in and look in harmony with you like it does for me if it doesn't continue on to the next card now if for the warm cards the the cheek and lip colors are in the same spot and you should be able to kind of imagine these colors on you so these again as i said as i was going through the cards it's not that these look bad but this one looked so much better on me on the cool and bright colors use the pinks Again, hold them up to your cheeks and it should look like you would actually wear makeup in those colors. And the same with the soft and cool. One of the other things that I noticed is that when I held up the cool cards to my face, you can almost immediately see how warm my skin is next to these cool cards. It just, um, you can just tell right away that there is just no harmony there. And if I were to hold up these warm cards to Joe, if you don't know who Joe is, Joe is uh, my soon to be husband and he has very cool undertones. And I know for a fact, if I held these cards up to his skin, it would also be out of harmony. His skin would immediately look more gray and more pink and just simply not. He would be in much more harmony with the cool colors. Okay, so that's how you use these cards. It's very powerful to have them in your hand and hold them up to your face to compare what you have in your closet with these with the colors on these cards. Sometimes that's a clue to whatever you naturally gravitate towards. So you can get these at colorfans.com. You get a set of four, one for each color type, and then you can play with those and finally figure out what color type you have. These cards are also included in the DIY self-color analysis course. You get a coupon to apply to your order at colorfans.com, so they're shipped to you for free because it's part of the course. That course also includes access to your online color wheel tool where you can upload your photo and see your photo among six different color wheels, which is really fun as well and helps you figure out what your color type is. Both links are in the description below this video, so check that out and have fun with this.